Oh, it's about to get interesting. DC power player tied to Podesta's blasts, insane Reddit sleuthing on sex trafficking ring. Now, of course, we're talking about the pizza gate. I've done nothing for days but try to clean this up. Oh, really? What's there to clean up, power player? One of the most influential men in the nation's capital is livid with internet sleuths who suspect him of having ties to a sex trafficking ring. The New York Times interviewed James Elephantis, the owner of a restaurant called Comet Ping Pong in Washington on Tuesday to dispel rumors that he is tied to a child abuse ring. Stolen documents belonging to the former Hillary Clinton campaign chairman, John Podesta, which were made public by WikiLeaks, linked the two men and sparked crowdsourced research into his life on Reddit and 4chan. From this insane fabricated conspiracy theory, we've come under constant assault, Mr. Elephantis 42 told the newspaper. I've done nothing for days but trying to clean this up and protect my staff and friends from being terrorized. Really? Terrorized? How about the kids? How about the people involved in your uh, sex trafficking ring? Because there would be nothing to clean up. Now, of course, he's trying to clean up his, his, uh, his, his appearance. Let's put it that way. Reddit, YouTube, and Twitter users claim that Pizzagate should not be dismissed as a baseless conspiracy theory. Given bizarre and sexually suggestive images from Mr. Elephantis' own Instagram account, now set to private, uh, YouTube videos taken from Inside Comet Ping Pong, the sexual and macabre art commissioned for the restaurant's promotional material and the Clinton campaign's ties to billionaire Jeffrey Epstein and Anthony Weiner, have also fueled online calls for an FBI investigation. Are we going to get one? That's all I want to know. Mr. Epstein is a convicted sex offender, and Mr. Weiner is under an, an active FBI investigation for illicit text messages he sent to a teenager. Mr. Alafantis, who came in at number 49 on GQ magazine's list of the 50 most powerful people in Washington in 2012, has contacted the FBI and local police to assist him in dealing with threats. He has also asked social media giants to censor posts on the story which has gone viral across the globe. Social media giants to censor posts on the store. Why would you do that? If you have nothing to hide, sir, then why would you do that? And are you that powerful that you can convince the likes of Google and Facebook to censor posts? I'd like to know how you gained that much power. It's like trying to shoot a swarm of bees with one gun. Bryce Rea, Comets General Manager, told the Times, organized and highly detailed summaries of Pizzagate show up regularly on Reddit and Twitter, excuse me, Reddit and YouTube. They've been viewed tens of thousands of times. I won't stop saying it. Pizzagate is real. Former Huff Huffington Post reporter David Siemens tweeted Tuesday, silence in face of evil is evil. My grandfather, U.S. Army, helped liberate a concentration camp RTing a few Pizzagate articles articles is nada. Twitter has restored, re restored, resorted to deleting posts on the subject and seemingly penalizing others through shadow bans, which means the user does not realize no one else sees the tweet. Wow. Sounds like a, uh, a massive cover-up is underway. Canada just busted a massive sex ch uh, child sex ring. This guy needs to go down too. Make sure you share this and get this out. That way it cannot be censored. I want to thank you guys for watching and listening. Please make sure you subscribe to our website. Go to freedomfightertimes.com slash info for more information. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. And make sure you click the bell to be notified of when we post a new video. God bless and carry on.